Here's an example to find, essentially to find the rate law. First, we're going to find the order. That's the M and N of the reaction, the exponents. And then we're going to find next the rate constant, K. Okay. So we're going to go through this process, and it'll always look like this sort of question. We have the concentrations of A, of a and B, all the reactants. And then you'll have uh, the rate. So, and these are numbers that can be measured in your laboratory uh, fairly easily. So here's what you do. First of all, looking at this, our rate law will be rate equals K times the concentration of A to some power, we'll say M, times the concentration of B to some power we'll call n. And so basically for part one, I want to know what m uh, plus n is, and I'll find m individually and n individually. So I'll find the order, the overall order of reaction, m the order with respect to a, and m the order with respect to b. Here's how this kind of problem goes. It's a problem of comparison. So for the first part, uh, what you're going to do is, is put your Sesame Street hat on and see what's different than the other. So notice the first two reactions, if I label this 1, 2, and 3. 1 and 2, the concentration of B does not change, but the concentration of A does. And uh, then if I compare, say, 1 and 3, A does not change, but B does. That is set up by design, by the experimenter. That will always be true that you'll have some concentrations that will not change. And you need that uh, to solve the kind of problems we're going to do. So what you're going to do is say, what if I compare rate 2 and rate 1? What I'm going to do with those two rates is write out the rate laws. So for rate 2, it's K times the concentration of A, which is 0 0.20. I'm reading it right off the table. To the uh, M power times the concentration of B, 0 0.30, to the N power. All divided by rate 1, K times 0 0.60 to the M power and 0 0.30 to the N power. And that's going to equal... Uh, 1.4 over uh, 12.6. Okay, notice what happens uh, when I do that, and you'll see why I did this now. K is canceled because they're not going to change for a given reaction. It's a constant. The temperature's not changing. Nothing's changing. Notice that the B part of the reaction both cancels out. So I'm conveniently left with one variable. K is gone and N is gone. So I specifically chose a place so that the N variables would cancel. And that's 1 and 2. Later we're going to cause the M variables to cancel. So in this case, 0.2 divided by 0.6, uh, that's 1 third to the M power. And if you get your calculator out, 1.4 divided by 12.6. Six, that's going to be one ninth. So what's m equal to? Okay, two. I'll tell you. <laughs> There's two. So that's the order with respect to a. Now let's find n. So to find n, uh, what two reactions am I, or what two of these three am I going to compare? I have to compare 1 and 3 to get A to cancel with a 0.6. Uh, and it doesn't matter which one I put in the numerator, which one I put in the denominator. You'll get the same answer. I'll just put 1 on top. It doesn't matter. So we know that K is going to cancel. I'll write it anyways, though. K times 0 0.60 to the M times 0 0.30 to the N divided by... Uh, K, 0 0.60 to the M, 
and 0 0.10 to the n. So I'm just filling in the blanks from the table, and that's going to be 12.6 over 4.2 for the rates. Notice a lot of stuff cancels. The K's cancel, and the M parts cancel. So 0.3 over 0.1, that sounds like 3 to me. 3 to the N power from here equals 12.6 over 4.2, that sounds like 3 also. So what's N? Just 1. Just one. Yep. So the rate The order of reaction with respect to uh, A is 2, with respect to B is 1, and if you want the overall o order, you just say overall equals M plus N, or 2 plus 1 is 3.